Social learning theory is the idea that we learn through observation and imitation. A model performs the behaviour, the observer actively focuses on it and then copies it. Imitation is most likely to happen when the observer admires the model, such as when a child admires their parent or someone might admire a celebrity. It was also more likely if the observer perceives themselves as similar to the model, such as the same gender or a similar age. Finally, imitation is more likely to occur if the observer witnesses vicarious reinforcement. This is when the observer witnesses the model being rewarded for their behaviour. For example, if a child sees their sibling receive pocket money for doing the washing up, they are more likely to copy their behaviour to receive the same reward. Plenty of studies back up the idea of social learning theory and the idea that imitation is more likely when the observer is the same gender as the model. One of the main weaknesses of this theory is that it cannot explain twin studies. For example, levels of aggression have been found as more similar in identical twins than non-identical twins, so genetics are more likely to be the cause of this than learning from the people around them. Despite this, social learning theory can be used to explain the development of aggressive behaviour. For example, if a child observes aggression, they are able to learn this behaviour themselves through imitation. Advertisers also use social learning theory to influence customers. For example, they may use a model who is similar to their target market in an advert to increase the likelihood of imitation. Advertisers also use celebrities that consumers admire in the same way. Finally, social learning theory can explain how gendered behaviour is passed between generations as children observe and imitate the behaviour of their parents, however, are more likely to imitate a parent of the same gender.